Sophia here from mygridchallenge.blogspot.com Yet again, another decorating project for Christmas. I'm doing the top of the stairs. So here's my staircase and when you go up, uh, aside from the dust bunnies and the dirt and the nasty, this is what you get to see for now. I have a big mirror and I have a lamp and I have the um, my religious stuff. So. First things first, I have to really, really seriously clean this area because it's really, really dirty. I mean, I'm talking like dirt everywhere. So what I need to do, thank you, William. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, you guys gonna help? Uh, what, what are you drinking? Huh? What am I drinking? Yeah. I'm drinking wine. No. I'm drinking a fruit smoothie. Okay, a fruit smoothie. All right, <sighs> good. Um, you guys, I need you to get me those two garlands that are really, really prickly and bring them over to me. Garlands? Yeah, those? figure it out. All right, so after I clean everything and I'm going to put this in the wash so that it gets whitened, um, I'm going to do a decoration this year that's a little bit different than what I did um, the other years. I bought some garlands, you know, like the um, pine cones, thanks. So that's going to go over there. And then Deborah sent me some beautiful 12 Days of Christmas ornaments that she made herself. So they're going to be integrated in the garland here. And then in the middle right here I'm going to put my big Victorian center and then I'm going to do something else here at the bottom. Yeah, these, that's right. That's the ones I need. So, so All right. Them right there? Yeah, put them right there. So these are the garlands that I'm going to use. They are really, really prickly. I bought them on super, super sale, 50% off at um, Hobby Lobby. So I got to figure out a way to integrate them here. Now obviously the lamp is going to have to go and I have to add lights to the garlands themselves. So that way I have light here and I don't have to use this one. Um, the center is going to be there, then I bought some other stuff that's going to be here, including some poinsettias. I don't know, i got to figure it out. But first things first, seriously clean this area. Okay, cleaned. Um, got this curtain down in the wash. This has been all dusted. I got this at Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put it here, but for now, I'm leaving it here. I'll see what it looks like in the end. So this has been dusted and everything, mirror has been washed. What I'm going to do is use those command damage free hanging stuff. I'm going to put one in the middle over here on top and one on either side, um, a little bit lower or higher, I don't know, one maybe in the, on the mirror. What I'm trying to do here is not use the mirror to hold the wreath. I want to use the um, hooks. To hold it because I just one I don't want to damage the mirror and two I don't know if the mirror is going to hold um, this wreath that I bought or this garland rather is super super heavy and it's very prickly I already got a whole bunch um, you can see maybe I'm not sure right here got a huge welt and scratch from doing the stuff outside so I'm trying to preserve my hands here because the hardest thing to do is going to be later on today when I do the big Christmas tree and that one is just like you damage your hands so much um, doing those all right so let me figure out a way to put this wreath on and then I have those little um, garland thing or strings of red beads and I'm gonna attach to it and then I have some lights as well uh, this is something that I had last year. It's like a Santa greetings book thing, but there's a string of light in it. So really what I want is the light and I may actually leave this here or put it to the side. I don't know. I don't know yet what I'm going to do. Yeah, maybe I'll put it over here. All right, for now, I'm just fooling around. Um, I have some poinsettias that I want to add anyway. So this is, I have to add to the garland as well. So, it wasn't all that easy, but I have the garland up and I have the lights in it as well. So it plugs in all the way at the bottom. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the curtain that gets curved so that can be fixed. But before I flock it and really arrange it, I need to put all of those little ornaments in it because they're gonna be uh, positioned, of course, by order from one to 12. And once they end, then I can start moving the branches. When you get one of those wreaths, don't just like unpack it and put it somewhere, wherever you want to decorate. These are flexible, you can bend them, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with them. Got to figure out if I want to do something in the middle here. It's kind of like a little, um, I don't know, boring um, in the middle. I do have a little bird. Maybe I'll put that in. So I'm going to put those little ornaments all around and I'll see you once that's done. And then I'll just restructure the garland the way I want it. So from far away, this is what it looks like when you come up the stairs for now. Um, it's big. Um, 
yeah, it is really, really big. And with the Santa, it's really going <laughs> to fill up the space. But I really do like it. And it's Christmas, you know. I mean, you do all sorts of things that are really not convenient at all <laughs> throughout the holidays. Just for the uh, sake of decorating. So this is what it looks like so far. And I didn't reshape the garland yet. And Deborah, I have to say, your little ornaments are absolutely gorgeous. I am in awe of your talent. This looks really, really cool. Now, the only thing is that this one, for some reason, tends to move to the uh, side. So I have to move it a little bit more over here. What's up? What's your mouth? Huh? What are you Food. eating? Huh? Food. I know, but what is it? Cottage. Ah, okay. All right, so <laughs> this is what it looks like. And I put Santa right here. Let me pull out again so you can see it as you go up the stairs. That's what it looks like. Ah, oh, I love it. It's going to look beautiful at night. Now, I did put the little bird that I was telling you about in here. You can't see it at all. So, I found this old ribbon that belonged to, I think, an old Thanksgiving fall wreath. I have to reshape it. And I'm probably going to put it over here because the colors um, go together. It's not something that's going to be uh, um, in your face. I'm not going to put the red because it's too red. This is not the same red. So I'm trying to, you know, stay within the same uh, color theme here. So I have to reshape this and then I'll put the bird in the middle and I'll redesign uh, the middle right here. Scott, what do you think? It's July. Why are you putting this stuff up? <sighs> I have to have the patience of a saint to live with you. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks. I, I like uh, the ornaments, and, and I like the the, uh, the pine. Do you like the pine? Yeah, but you know the. Uh, I like the. Uh, I also, you know, I like the whole thing. The Saint Nick, I like better than Santa Claus anyway. So you know. Yeah, this one guy right here. Yeah. Ten bucks. That's how much he cost me at a garage sale. It's December. Yeah, yeah, your dad likes to joke. What do you think, Willie? It's pretty cool. You like it? It's yes. pretty? I got a lot of work to do, you know that? I still have two more trees and the... Big tree. tree. Uh, Big what's tree. on your sleeves? Oh, I don't know. I think I spilled smoothie. You spilled smoothie? Yeah, okay. I think... You're doing the laundry, right? Who are you? Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, let me fix this thing and then um, I have to reshape the whole thing here. Clean this up, bring the poinsettias, and I'll be done with this part of the house. I can't believe that was $10. Yeah, I know, right? $10 at a garage sale. Amazing. So, I cleaned the entire staircase. I still have some scuff marks um, on the uh, insteps, whatever you call it. Oh my goodness, the amount of dirt that was on my wall is unbelievable. These kids do not wash hands. Um, I cleaned all of this here. And before I'm... Oh, you look real threatening. Okay. Yeah, the Star Wars. Yeah, he's excited. You're excited about Star Wars? You want to go see it, Willie? They're all out of tickets, though. They're out of tickets already? Oh, you yeah. can see it in June, then. All right, so... While Scott is assembling the Christmas tree for me, um, I'm going to do the garland that goes on the staircase. And this is done, and I have the sheer panel back up. So this is what it looks like. This is the finished product. I hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Um, I'm not done with this video. I'm gonna finish the garland here, which is in this box right there. And then I have the sheer panels. Oh, and I listened to you guys. I put the um, swan on top of the curio cabinet. The basket is up in the um, guest bedroom. So the sheer panels for the living room are in the wash. Um, yeah, they get done once a year, so might as well. And then uh, these right here are the garlands that I need. With some ribbons and the lights, I have to install the whole thing here. Shouldn't be taking too long. So I'm finally getting help here. Two boys and a hubby are putting up the tree for me. So that's good. Is it hard? No. It's hard putting these in, but easy to pull them in. Yeah, I think that you should pull out the um, branches and Edward should insert them inside the tree, you know? Okay, Edward, start this inside. <clears throat> now I switch. Okay, start so in the meantime, <laughs> here is the garland that goes on top of the stairs. And, this and there's cool. light in it already, but I didn't plug it in because it gets to be plugged in with the tree. So that's what it looks like. 
and again this is the top of the stairs so that's it for this video i hope you like it we're still working here give me a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you're new and in the next video i'm going to tackle the mental over there